All right. I guess I'm gonna present something then. But literally everything she said is nonsense, so I don't even know where to begin. So, notice the blood... Well, let me look at my stuffs. Let me look at my stuff. No, no, no. Well, okay, let me look at her sentences. I don't see. I don't even know where to start here. So she noticed the blood traces, even though it was dark. Darkness doesn't have anything to do with time, to, but okay. But you didn't, because there was plenty of it left. And if you couldn't, uh, uh, the darkness. But you didn't. But you didn't do that either. Like, I want to present the jar again just to say that Gant had a piece in his safe, but we still haven't proven that that is true. That is the only thing I can think to do, though, that's relevant to what she's talking about, because we're still on this jar. This jar has been a pain in the ass for a long time here. I believe this jar conceals the truth even you were unaware of. I mean, what are we going to say? Yeah, I mean, that's what I've been saying, but we have yet to convince the, the judge and everybody of that. In the chief's safe? But how? I mean, we've already discussed this. I knew it. She really... But she was... Was she not here during the last part of the trial where we discussed this? She was the fucking... The defendant. She was here in the room. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... Still blood on it. How does she not know this? How do you not know this? We... We had a whole fucking game where I drew the lines. See, sometimes, man, this case... I can't help but feel like they kind of rushed this case, or just kind of it was a little sloppy, because half the time the characters don't know things that I know they should know. <laughs> he acted surprised. We fucking presented that for ten minutes last time. You know shit. Chief Gant got there before you. Obviously. Couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? No. <clears throat> I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. Or an ace... attorney. That may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Huh? Can you believe that? He's a troll. The judge is a troll. He's not serious. He's trolling us all. And that's going to be the big reveal. When the Phoenix Wright series comes to a close in 2097, it's going to be that he was the mastermind behind it all, all along. And he has now taken over the world and cloned himself infinitely, and all people have become judge. When this witness arrived at the scene, the jaw was already broken. Oh, that. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jaw. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this. I, I said it specifically. I didn't have to imply it. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the jar? The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Oh my god, did you see his fucking mouth? Up, 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 up. Well, your honor, can you answer us that? No, 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 Dude, he just said nigga. Anyway. No! He said it with an A, though, so it's fine. The judge is black. He's just albino. Like Tobias from Arrested Development, he's an albino black man, if you didn't know. He proceeded to break the jar, pur purposefully hid one of the broken pieces. What is this action called? Bad. Fabrication, that one too. Why would the chief... Why would Chief Gan do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Skye believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gan's aid. Lending her his aid, Gan helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark. Sparing Emma, and here is the reason. The reason why Miss Skye became the chief's puppet. I hiccuped, excuse me. No, I did it on my own. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the chief. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. 
You didn't kill anyone. She seems pretty serious about that, but I don't know. And I still kind of don't believe that she... Emma says that she remembers that, though, but... I mean, that can be faulty, too. Being told that you did something, you might then think that you remember it. Defense attorneys make up the... Def defense attorneys make up the he most foul lies. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> this is the second time in like five minutes that we've had something <laughs> totally absurd in the grammar and spelling. Foul lies. Imagine that coming from my own client. Huh. I guess you do seem the type who likes to tw twist the truth. Wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap. Uh... Okay. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana may be right after all. What do you mean, right? I mean, I think she's right about the prosecutor's knife being stabbed into him. I, d I felt like that wasn't a lie when she said it. So I don't know what's up with all that. But yeah. Which means I was right before when I said that that was the real murder weapon. I hope it was. Which means Emma's innocent, because I said I said I thought that too, that she didn't actually do it, because I didn't think the game would do that. But, if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. Good. I was right. But I do rem- No, I don't think that you do. Miss Skye, if you will. I- I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Lana Sky? Truth? What is this? Fucking... Not... at all how it is land? <laughs> I'll testify about what I really saw. I don't believe you. <laughs> Alright, the witness may testify once more for the final time. Final time, alright. These guys change their stories 17 times, they don't tell me the final time, bullshit. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor's sword. Alright, so fucking, it is that? What? Man! <laughs> so it was the I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna believe anything until they were done here. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. So, it was the armor, and you just thought that she did it. Okay. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. Okay. We, could we really have not started here? Like, could, couldn't you have just started with this exact testimony without this sentence? Just without the Chief Gant part? Why did you need to go through all the other lies? Whatever. To waste my time. <laughs> if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. She is. <clears throat> Unbelievable! The body was impaled on the armor sword! Judge, we established this already! You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. We already... What the fuck? Am I insane? Did I imagine the last half of the trial where we proved that? Or at least definitely established it as probably the case? These guys act like it's new. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. The evidence law? What does that have to do with it? Is there like a fucking something in the book? Apparently there's a picture. So we don't need the book at all. We just need the picture that's in the book. Remember kids, books are for pussies. Pictures are where it's at. Picture books. Manga. Comic books. Graphic novels. Text? Bullshit. Reading is for squares. You don't want to be a square? Put down that book, turn on the TV. Very well, Mr. Wright, please present present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from... It's in the book, man! Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Okay. Inside the book. Check. Alright, let's, uh... I mean, can I open it? Oh, it, what? Okay, cool. Hey, there it is. And yeah, that was that was that. 
It was pretty blurry. Can I get a close-up? Ooh. It's pretty messed up, man. Oh my. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. That's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Okay. The sword's not going through him or anything. I guess it wasn't that long. Mr. Wright! That piece cut out from his vest! That's where your handprint was, so it still seems like you did push him. And that's what I said when we first found that cloth. It was probably from his clothes. Unless it's all just set up by Gantz. Everything is just set up by him. I don't know. It's a handprint. Yep. Yours. We didn't tell you about that part. Uh, well, I mean... Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> but those fingerprints, yeah, those were yours. They're yours, Emma. <laughs> Why are your lips turning all purple, mister, right? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. The actual crime scene. When I arrived, found Mr. Marshall's body impaled. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't even get to do anything. Hey, you refused. You refused. Get out of here. Come now, OG. It's actually a relief that I don't have to press another testimony. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. You tell me, you're telling me, man. What, now you want to make me out as the bad guy too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. Oh, shit. Gah! Damn, dude. Yeah, fuck you. You don't even get to speak. You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you. But I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. Someone? So then, what's your excuse, Righto? Why have you been keeping quiet about it? Well, if you know about it, then are you acknowledging where we got it from? Thus, proving that you're a dick butt? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death? Or proving who put her unconscious hand prints on it, who, you know, with her unconscious body grabbed her by the arm and put her hand on it to frame her. Is this true, Mr. Wright? If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. Okay, so then don't do that then. If you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? You just said that it would get her found guilty. The one that shows who really killed... I mean, should I show something else? Because he, he specifically said that would be a bad idea. But if I don't show it, then what else... I mean, I, I still have Lana's testimony to press. Gant is not allowed to say anything else. So we can just get back to that. Because I, I don't think I'm supposed to find Emma guilty, so I'm going to go with this. I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You, you lie. Chief Gant, you, you opened my safe. Oh, you fucker! I know he's not allowed to testify, but that's official. That's he's he's on, he's in the court. He's on the stand. That's somebody write that down. Somebody get that. Anybody got that? It's that's there you go. Although that would also prove that we have it and we don't want to present it. So never mind. 
erase it. Delete it. Never mind. What safe? I don't have a safe. Nobody's safe in this world. This world's a this world's a, a dangerous place. We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know uh, the truth, don't you? I know the truth. You're a pile of shit. Fucking dyeing half your hair blackish gray and making it all stripey like a weirdo. You know whose fingerprints are on it? That's why you weren't presented. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? It's really more like down by the stomach. No, it's just that's just the style the kids are wearing these days. I mean, go ahead and implicate yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any such things, but if you want to say that you had it in your safe, feel free to say that. Concealing evidence. This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. But don't worry, this is just the extra case at the end of the game. I don't know if it's even canon. <laughs> I mean, obviously it is, but I don't know how much, how many implications it has. I know Emma returns later, and I'm sure some of the other characters do. To be honest, I didn't think you had the goal, right -o. Damon Gant is a pretty cool final boss, though, being chief of police and Zeus himself. I'll tell you what re you know. You won't. You're not allowed. We still didn't get to press Lana's testimony. I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. Wow, he's actually admitting some shit. So you really were manipulating her, but there's more. There's more. Murders. Plural, probably. I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, and that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my, my aid. So you assisted Miss Sky. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we rearranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? Why would you hide the jar from Lana? That's just proving that it's Emma, which would help you get her on your side. Actually, why would you hide either of them from Lana? Take them for yourself, but let her know you have them. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder, unless you just didn't want her to know, I guess, just to be safe, so that she couldn't ever turn on you. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? What do you take me for, a fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. <laughs> but if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on the jar also? Ah, shit! That's what I was thinking. I originally wanted it to spell Gant, but it really could only be formed to say Emma. But I'm still holding out hope. Some people just don't know... How would Neil Marshall even know? That's the biggest thing. Like, Neil Marshall wouldn't even know that Emma's name is spelled with one M, because that's a stupid way to spell Emma. So, boom. Victory. That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean, that piece of cloth? Come on, Raito. Cough it up already. I know you have it. I don't know what you're talking about, man. What, is, what even is cloth? I've never heard of that. So you admit to it then, Chief Gant, that you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have known it then before it was too late. Shown it then. It's been a long battle. Oh yeah, it has. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. 